All right, guys, I'm Liam Plunkett and Chad Brooks, both Yorkshire cricketers. Uh, Yorkshire in England. Uh, obviously, been on this uh, course the last three days. Uh, we're both in the SNC in terms of our sport, cricket related, and always got interest uh, in, in doing this sort of stuff. And coming in the last three days, I think I've learned a lot. What, have you took any key points away from this? I think you just come here with an open mind. Um, obviously, we've got experience of elite sport and you know, you take it for granted what you do in the gym, you suddenly don't really think about what you're doing and you don't really think about how it's benefiting, you just do it. And after a while you know, you know how to do an exercise, but it's away from that, how to coach it and how to do slightly different exercise like Olympic lifting. I mean, my knowledge isn't particularly great on that. Um, wasn't that confident before, but I think now, you know, having, having it broken down and simplified, if we can practice it hard over a period of time, we'll be very competent and confident with it. Obviously being on this course and the S&C side of stuff and cricket now, it makes me think that I wish I started cricket at this at this stage and what, what's going on with the sport and how much gets put into s and I think it'd be, as a youngster, as a cricketer, as an athlete coming and learning this stuff, it's going to better you as a, as a sportsman and stronger, be, be faster and more powerful. you agree with that, would you? If you had a chance, it'd be, it'd be good to have this when you first started playing cricket, wouldn't it? I probably would be in a better condition now if I'd taken it more seriously, if I had a better knowledge of it as a youngster. Um, I think you just got to come with an open mind and be willing to sponge as much information because there's so much information and not if everything will be specific but pick up a few points here and there. Um, it's one of those subjects where you can just ask questions, ask questions and um, you know it's, you're continually learning and it's, it's a really good qualification to have and gives you so much knowledge over a broad spectrum of sports as well. I think for, for me like out of the, the three days obviously took a lot in and wrote a lot of notes but the Olympic lifting was massive for me. I thought I knew certain aspects and certain movements but in hindsight I didn't really have a clue. I was such a novice in it and uh, just to pick up little things and now obviously we're going away and work on it. I think I took that away from the weekend. I enjoyed that the most and uh, I'm excited to put my, uh, get my teeth into that. Yeah, little things even like how to do a proper effective warm-up for Olympic lifting. Um, you know, you know, which is hard work in it, itself. Right? Which was a bit of a workout, you had a bit of a sweat on after that. Um, but the amount of times I've been asked over the last few years with how to do a specific program for you know, mates back home or kids who want you know how to do a fast bowlers fitness program. I mean, I've got the confidence now and to actually give a specific professional program and you know even coach them if they if you're with them. So yeah, I'll, so I'll finish with uh, the coaches have been have been top draw and uh, spoke to them. It was relaxed, but everyone worked hard. We had a good group and it's been enjoyable. And I'll take a lot out of these three days. I'm sure, you will too. Massively, yeah, definitely, definitely recommend it to people to do. If they're willing to put hard work and effort in, um, and they've got love for the for the S&C field, then it's a massive qualification for you. Cheers.